Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be working with Langchain and Spotify's API to search for songs based on some of the metadata that Spotify's API has on those songs. So I am going to first say I came across this article that I will leave in the uh, the description. Uh, this guy wrote this amazing article about talking to Spotify with Langchain. And so I thought I would kind of go through and see if he thought it would actually work. I wanted to go through and see if it <clears throat> is actually worthwhile. Um, so I justly named this Jim AI Vibes because I will be using this to search for new songs that I have not listened to when I go to the gym. I don't like it. I need to have variety. So this is the perfect tool for me. So let's get into some of the code and I will just pull this up, close this. All right, so let's just first take a look at, start at main and we'll just go from there. So main, we are running streamlet. So we have the header subheader and that's what you see right here. So that's not really Langchain. That is just something that we are using to have an easy interface. And now when there's an input, we are calling handler when the button is asked. <clears throat> and now here's where we get into the actual meat and potatoes of what is going on. So the first thing I am doing is I am creating the Spotify chain. And so I'm doing that with the build Spotify chain method that I created up here. And for this, you are going to need to instantiate an LLM with the chat open AI wrapper from Langchain imported above. And you will also need to get authentication from the Spotify client credentials. And you can get the client, the Spotify client ID and the Spotify client secret from from here you can find how to set up an app and get the proper credentials so you can actually do this yourself so <clears throat> once you've done that we are going to get an instance of spotify and here we are getting the pal chain so what is the pal chain it is right here <clears throat> program aided language model so essentially, it's given natural language and it knows how to perform code to support its efforts to get to the solution of whatever the question was, essentially. And so why are we using the programmated language model? Well, we are going to be using this to query the Spotify API and return the data from the query. So. This is the first step. Once we've done that, we need to then clean the data and present the end user with a natural language response with a set of songs for what they're asking for. And the way we do this is that we have another, another chain that we use with a prompt to go through the JSON data and pull out the key information based on the original question. So the way this works is once we've gotten our Spotify response, we then get our explainer chain by getting the LLM. Then also you can see if you go to definition, I just have a prompts folder. You see right here, we say using this code, the intermediate steps, we got the following output from Spotify API, JSON, indicating that it's JSON, saying don't describe the code of the process, just answer the question. So this prompt is gonna be helpful for us to be able to give the user an actual answer they can understand that is human readable. Once we do that, we now have the explainer chain and we have the Spotify chain, and we have to run both of those in a sequential chain. So we are instantiating our sequential chain, and we have the input variables of question. And that is pretty much it. So once you have that, you can get the overall response by running the chain with the query, which I can show you an example of right now. Let's see. What are some good Drake songs that are more R&B? Some good Drake songs that are more R&B include Marvin's Room, Holding On, We're Going Home, Passion Fruit, Too Good, Controla, 
Find Your Love, Take Care, One Dance, Hotline Bling, Shot For Me. That is honestly pretty sick. So if you wanted to, you know, get your favorite artist, you can get different playlists for different vibes, all just songs from them. That's that's pretty pretty crazy. And yeah, so that is the video. This is a fairly short one. I just wanted to show you how we can use 2 chains to essentially query the Spotify songs database with uh, natural language once we get the response back. We can actually generate a way to query that information and then we can generate and then we have a way to clean that data and provide a natural language response. So I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you liked it, drop a sub. If you hated it, drop a hate comment. If you liked it, drop a like comment. If you loved it, drop a love comment. And uh, yeah, there's no outro, so uh, goodbye.